Hello guys, you see the picture of a woman. She was struck to death allegedly by her husband in Dhaka's Bolivari early today. She looks beautiful, smart, everywhere she is fit. She is Umama Begum Konok. Her age is 40. She is actually wife of Omar Paruk. He was formerly a Japan ex expatriate. He returned to Bangladesh two years ago. Since then, he did not work. It was the frustration in this lady. She did not really feel well because her husband was not doing anything. But there are some considerations. Her husband earned money from uh, Japan. He also lent a lot of money to her relative. He also gave the half of her, I mean, half share of his building that he had earned money and bought. So in every way, he was all right. She was even at the, in this, I mean, circumstances all right. But still, the foolishness, unintelligence, disfavor, reasons like that, that really, I mean, destroy everything. Initially, uh, the man has confessed to the police that he has used the kitchen knife and and hurt the wife. At the, she was actually stabbed at 12.30 and then at 5.30 she was declared dead. So such a situation is absolutely unexpected. They used to live at Mirpur DOHS. They had a flat there. So they probably were living luxurious. Everything was fine. They have two children. And now you see the children must be orphan now because they lost their mother and they will also lose their father because their father has been arrested and he also confessed that he used the knife, he actually stabbed his wife. The incident took place around 12.30 at the house in Mipur DHS. It was because of a quarrel over several issues. One of them, as I already told, that he did not work after he had come from Japan two years ago. This is what uh, Konok's sister said. The other reason is uh, he actually bought the flat with his own money, but he put two names, his name and his wife's name as the owners of the flat. But now the husband was insisting she should give that share back to her husband and she did not agree with it. She might think that it is because of her children's future because her husband doesn't work anymore. So at one point they may run out of money. Some situation may arise that that house is absolutely it will become so necessary for her, indispensable or essential. So there are reasons. However, victim sister Rumakta said Faruk returned from Japan a couple of years ago and since then was not doing anything in the country. This frustrated Konok, mother of two, leading to altercations with him at times. Following one such altercation, Faruk stabbed his wife with a kitchen knife leaving her critically injured. Konok, also a former BCL leader, was rushed to Dhakme College Hospital, where doctors declared her dead around 5.30 a.m., she said. The Osio Pallavi police station said Farooq, during primary interrogation, admitted that he stabbed his wife. Police sources said they initially found that the victim gave money that Farooq earned in Japan to one of her relatives who was dilly-dallying to pay them back. Besides, Farouk was putting pressure on his wife to transfer her share of the flat owned jointly by the couple. 
to him as he paid the money. The body was sent to hospital more for autopsy. To my understanding, both of them were at fault. Probably the wife was much more at her fault because she should have relaxed. Her husband stayed in Japan. It was really difficult to go to Japan. It must have been so difficult for him. Still, he managed. It means he wants money. He wants to earn money. He wants children. He wants wife. He wants happiness. He wants happiness uh, with his children, with his wife. So, everywhere he was fine. But the problem arose because of COVID-19 maybe. Initially, he returned from Japan and he thought he might be around, he might not work. But after some months, he might think he would like to work. But COVID-19 turned the situation different. So because of this, he might not be able to start working. And as they have a flat, they have two children, she should have relaxed. She should have relied on her husband. She should have enjoyed her life with her children, with her husband in different ways. She would play carom. She would play ludo. She would pass nice time watching television with the family members, watch YouTube and enjoy. They could go outside together because they're her husband is not working in that way so they were in that sense free so they could manage time to go to different places she should have relaxed it's because of greed that's really the main culprit and <clears throat> the more you're foolish the more you'll be greedy the less you're intelligent the more you'll be greedy Greed is not the solution. Money is not the solution. Job is not the solution. Happiness is the solution. Good health is the solution. And money is necessary for having good health. It's true. Money is necessary for having happiness. It's true. But it doesn't mean that you have to snatch money from your husband. It doesn't mean that you force your husband to make money. You have to relax. You have to find alternatives. You have to be happy with what you have. Your husband stayed in Japan and he returned. He might want to relax. And after some months, he might want. But maybe because of COVID-19, there was problem. Everywhere there's problem. Situations change in India, in America, in China. In every place you see the waves of Coronavirus affections are really too melting. It's really very, very bad situation. So you, you understand that she's pretty. She must have been educated well. She's just 40 years old. And she was also a former BCL leader. She was active. It's in every way, both, yeah, both of them were nice. So the... Husband was our league's relief and social welfare subcommittee member. Kono was also a former BCL leader. So things were all fine. They have two children. They have a flat. They have everything. They may not earn. Her husband may not be earning that much in that period of time. One day they may run out of money. That's the fear she had. That's true. But it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to quarrel. Quarrel, quarrels are not helpful. If you force something, it's not helpful. You have to relax. You have to make him happy. You have to make your husband understand that you want money and he's not earning money. You want something and he's not giving you. You have to make him understand. You cannot quarrel. You cannot force. You cannot disturb him. You have to be patient. You have to be careful careful you have to be caring to your husband when you care him properly he will take proper attention to you the same thing may have also happened the wife was nice but the man was very angry because he lost a lot of money He's, he gave a lot of money to her relatives at the same time he also paid all the money of the flat but 
the shares are two. He has 50% share and his wife has 50% share. So initially the husband was very nice, very good, very kind hearted. It looks like in every way he was fine. And the wife must have been also fine, no doubt. But when the situation gets worse, it doesn't necessarily mean that the wife will have to behave worse. Husband was all right. But when the husband became ill or sick or could not make money or failed in businesses, it doesn't necessarily mean that wife has to be violent, forceful. It doesn't work. So love can work. Force doesn't work. You have to be polite, you have to be modest, you have to be reasonable, you have to be rational, you have to make, you have to convince your husband what you want. You cannot force him to give you what you want. So there are different other reasons we don't know. But initially what I understand is that the husband was initially everything was fine. But two things horrified him as he uh, has the share 50% of the building and 50% with his wife. And the other thing is that uh, the wife disturbs him because he doesn't get the job, doesn't work anymore. Maybe because of that. So as he gave a lot of money to her relative, he did not pay him back. He was dilly-dallying. So there are things that really horrified the husband and when the husband was horrified and it has been intensified by his wife. The wife also discouraging, also violent, also quarrelsome, also complaining. So she complained because he did not earn money. He complained because the share has not been returned. The money that he paid to her relative did not, I mean, it hasn't come to him. So, in a perplexed situation, things all went wrong. And at one point, when the altercation started at night, she was probably violent, she was verbally probably violent, and he could not control himself, and he did this job. He was not a professional murderer. It was because he got so much angry, it should not be. Nobody should be that much angry, but still, the wife should be also careful that the husband may get angry, may get burst. So, things should be really under control. When you are riding bike, you cannot have the speed that you can't control in a moment. That's important. So, we, we speed up, it's true, but we have to try our best to have the limit. When it's in a very tricky road, you have to be careful. Whatever happens, it's even when you are very careful, accidents can occur. Even when you are careful, very good in manners, behavior, still these things happen. But as much as you can, love, peace, happiness, these are all, actually these work hand in hand. Love will bring peace. Peace will bring love. True. But first, love is more important. When you have love, then peace will automatically come. When you have peace, if you do not have love, then peace may go away. So, respect your husband. Have faith on your husband. Depend on your husband. Consult with your husband. And the husband should also consult with his wife. Depend on his wife. Some things the husband is good at. At other points, wife is good at. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching.